look at her. Oh, Kevin. I'm feeling. Uh, hello, feeling girls. I'm actually hiding under the desk, girl. <laughs> ding dong dong. Ding dong bunga dong. Dong 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 dong. Dance, dance. I'm just a dancing, Lena. I'm just a dancing. Do you have under the hiccups? Or the direct? Oh, Kevin, and we, this is another one. She's been stomping in the clubs. She was like one of those queens that we knew forever that actually was really making great music and caused, you know, and had really great music mm -hmm. in our scene that was playing. And Paul Alexander, know? hello, of the ones. Oh, yes, yes. of course. Yes, yes, amazing. Yes. We had a lot of great talent come out of the 90s. I mean, and like I said, it's so beautiful to see all of our brothers and sisters flourishing. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, Paul Alexander just had his uh, his play that Trinket? I believe that she's in. Yes, yeah, and Kevin was yeah, in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, we all stood together. <laughs> you know, remember that time we were in Italy. And we had had a wild oh, night. We were there to do the Dolce & Cabana show. Okay. It was a very fun group, to say the least. Yeah. <laughs> and we had somehow run into a group of policemen, and they decided to come and get a drink with us back at the hotel. <laughs> and we ended up getting hearing a knock on the door about... 20 minutes before we were supposed to leave to the airport, and we were not packed yet. <laughs> there was like two, five or six of us in there. Oh, I thought you were going to tell another story. <laughs> I just say that trip was amazing. <laughs> and this is when um, Doja and Gabbana were doing Whitney, so they were at the party too, the oh, after party. Oh, yes, and honey, her and her lover. Yeah, we're just going to leave this. But we won't go. Yeah. Wait, but what happened when we the door? The 20 minutes that you're about to leave? <laughs> 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 Kevin was so irritated, and we always thought of her as this partier and didn't really care. But she read us this way to Sunday. It was so hilarious. We laugh about it now. But I thought she you were going to say the one where we were at Club Hollywood, this club in Milan. Oh, and Ivy and got the her fight. Waist yeah, this girl was so oh, right. perplexed over beautiful Ivy, and she tried to grab her hairpiece off. <gasps> she and, did. Oh, yeah, she, she actually she did. And we have pictures of it. I mean, I have to show oh, them. To and you. Ivy so was crazy. not having it. They she went. was not having it. And so. A fight went down, and it was just like, okay, we're just here trying to have drinks in the VIP. What happened? <laughs> it was crazy, but so much fun. Oh my gosh, I would like to have been a fly on the wall for that oh, trip. Oh no, you wouldn't. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the whole way back, we would look. At, we're like, did we do that? I thought they would look back at us like. Girl, <laughs> girl, no one was girl. innocent on that trip. No one was innocent, <laughs> and no one had lipstick on in that trip. Yeah. <laughs> It was a fun trip. Oh, what a I dream. Mean... <laughs> Candace didn't don't don't do that again. <laughs> love you, Kevin. Um, love all you right, Kevin. we got a couple more left. I Look at her. Oh. Oh. oh, Mama <laughs> Now, before she was a multinational corporation, she was a person that you might have known in real life. <laughs> <laughs> I literally can only remember the last. I can't. I think the last time I saw her was for. The swatch party that Susan Bosch did uptown, like this is like probably like maybe late '90s. I was the last time I saw her. I've wow. seen her since then. <laughs> she, she, um, she was so sweet to me. She, she, well, she puts me on Drag Race all the time. Yes, but, you've managed but, to slip in there with yeah, the girls <laughs> all the time with the girls. But um, when I my book came out recently, yeah, High right. Gorgeous. And at my book signing at the Grove, she was there, and I just started talking about, you know, my life, and I was so excited about the book, and and I was like, okay, well, I guess we'll start the signing. It was my first book signing. I didn't know like how long I should Protocol, stay. Yeah. And she's like, oh no, honey, and she got up, grabbed the mic, and she started like a half an hour interview session with me. Wow. About everything, because she wanted <laughs> yeah. to get everybody, you know, together. So it was it was amazing, and it was all improv. It was Amen. really fierce. Oh, and a little tidbit that I just remembered as she was telling that. Oh, yeah. Early, early 90s, maybe when she had just, I don't remember what it was, but she had just finished one album and she was about ready to do Vegas. And she would reached out to me to do all the voiceovers for her Vegas show, which wow. I did. Wow. I would love to find that cassette, honey. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> that yes. would be fun. <laughs> Well, what kind correct. of things did you say in the voice? Well, she wanted a lot in my language, you know what I mean? So, uh -huh. yeah, I like would do like all the different um, segments and whatnot and then things that she had. I didn't get a chance to see the show, so I never got to see the final Now, can you give us a little taste of the Lena Lingo, honey? Oh, sure. It's mm -hmm. called Lena Sugar Cookie Pudding <laughs> Pub. <laughs> it tricks 
Ina, Sheena's, and all those Edda's. Mm, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, so they kind of get thrown up into the mix. In the uh -huh. Well, give us a couple examples for the children to learn okay, and watch. Let's see. Well, we're here at um, Hey Queen Tricks. <laughs> yeah. I'm here with my sistrix, mm -hmm. John, John Edda. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lady Red Edda. <laughs> I look Coco Sheena. <laughs> <laughs> Gorgeous. Oh, this is so fun. It's fun. Look at home. Oh, oh Janet. 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 Just with her last night. Yes. Drinking wine. Oh, yeah. my. Oh, yeah. A wretched woman. I know. She's the one who started it all off. She yeah. did. <laughs> she did. It was so much. And she was on uh, Dollhouse, too. Yeah. We She's had all amazing. The I She's love so that one. We were just saying in the car, like, I mean, how beautiful to see a sister to be able to write and do all these wonderful things at 35 and just moved to New York in 2005. Yeah. The fact that we were all able to be predecessors and do all of these things, because you have to remember, honey, we were knocking down doors. Like, a lot of this stuff, like, was very hard to get done. Yeah. And to even get any type of accolades and people to see us and do all these things makes it possible for this younger generation to do it. And to see how they're catapulting it and taking it to the next level is beautiful. Homage and blessings and light to you, sister. Yeah, she's amazing. Yeah. Love it. These are good. Look at her, Yes, yeah, honey. Sorry. We do the yeah. research here. Really good. <laughs> Look at <laughs> God. Your girlfriend we met at the Oscars last year. What's her name? Who's the blonde? Yeah, she... Natalie Z. Yeah, yeah, she's great. She's so great. Love her. Oh my God, this was, it was, I, I'll never forget the first time I went into the table read. And I had no idea really who was in the cast. Right. And I went in and I was so nervous. And, and I looked at that room full of that what? new yeah. cast. That show should still be and on. I almost so had a panic attack. My heart was like beating. Oh. And I just started drinking water. And then Billy came up and gave me a big hug and wow. said, You guys, this is Candace. And everybody's like, Hey. <laughs> and it was like, You know what I mean? And they were all so sweet to me and so accepting and yeah. and excited about yeah. the storyline because it had never been seen on TV right, before. Right. So they were really into it too. It was so ahead of its time. Yeah. It really was. It was really cool. Still got you in Time Magazine, sweetie, so it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> Look at home. She's also been on In the Dollhouse, yes, but you're quite has. close with her, her family. Yes, I am. And, and her daughter, uh, Alex, is amazing. Actually, I knew Alex first, uh, Alex and Tom. Tom is uh, the president of uh, Whoopi's uh, company. And uh, it's funny, when Alex and I met, it was just like, God, you look like my sister. Not this one. But you look like my <laughs> yeah. sister. Like, like, we physically look like one another, like light skin, the freckles, the whole nine. And um, then... We got very close, and uh, then throughout time, Whoopi had always reached out to me to do things, but I wasn't living in London at the time, so right. it just it never worked out. So then, um, fast forward many moons later, uh, Tom set up a dinner. We were both in, t uh, in town. We went to Indochine, and um, this is like right probably around the time season one had finished of The Dollhouse. So mm -hmm. um, I was sitting at the bar, and all of a sudden, I feel these hands come around me and grab me. And you know, it was a little turns thing. So she turned me around or whatever, and she just looked at me. And we both were just like this and just hugged me for it seemed like ever. And it was just like, and then she said to me, she's like, so when do you want me to do the dollhouse? Wow. And then <laughs> literally, um, she sent a car. We went over. We spent Thanksgiving. And then we spent Christmas together. And then I did her birthday on The View. I mean, she's just, she's, she's, it's so, uh, I don't want to say odd, but it's just like, that's my friend, you know yeah. what I mean? And she's such a beautiful, giving person. And what she brings every morning to people in middle America, she shows you both sides and just not to be so judgy about things. She mm. makes things very effortless and shows you a whole different way of thinking about things and not being so stern and set in your ways, you know? Like, she's such a, a, a gift to us all, and I'm very enriched to have her in my life. And you get to hang out at Thanksgiving and <laughs> <laughs> you engage with that, girl. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think there's one left. Look at him. Oh, Ms. Laverne oh, Cox, that campaign honey. is so gorgeous. Yes. Yes. It really she looks is. Great. And yeah. another, uh, yeah, God, it's like all of like the girls from the '90s. Yeah, like, it was like just it. like our, all the people that were just around the way over there at the yeah, party. Yeah, yeah, totally. Doing yeah. big things. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah. amazing. It really is. Yeah, we we all go way way back. I mean, she came something. out later, but we, 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 she was right there. She with was us. around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really, totally. Yeah, totally. <laughs> it's so beautiful to see all of our sisters doing it.
it was such a generation that that time in New York and I lived. There's so many people who've gone off to do so many amazing yeah. things yeah. and become so high profile that it's, uh, so true. it's very exciting to and see it all happen and also be a part of it. No, it's yeah. true. Yeah. And it's always so wonderful. Like, we all bumped into each other at an event that we were just at on Saturday that Leith and Candace were hosting. And uh, it's always great when you get to see all your sisters in one room because, you know, a lot of the time we're all doing our thing and we don't always get to see one another unless you're immediate circle, you know yeah. what I mean? So that's so beautiful because then you get to, like, say, you know what? I'm so proud of you. You know, I'm so proud to see what you're doing and every sister's doing something different, you know? And that's pretty amazing because we didn't always have that. Yeah. You know, we were always put in the backdrop, you know? Yeah. And now you're on the spotlight, on the sparkle <laughs> couch, and you're slaying. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Lena. Thank you, Candace. Oh, we yeah, love you, Johnny. Such a delight to see you, you guys. Oh, my God. You. And we'll see you guys next time on Hey Queen and Look at Her. <laughs> Bye, baby. <laughs>